Welcome to AOTC Health and Safety Induction. AOTC believes that HSCE is an integral part of our business performance and sound HSE management will contribute to our long-term business success. Protecting health, safety of our employees, customers and the environment is considered as core value for AOTC. To achieve these goals, AOTC shall adhere to the following principles. Strive to eliminate all employees' injuries by making workplace free from hazards and unsafe conditions. Compliance with all applicable HSC legislation. Arrange to educate, train and retrain the employees. Intolerance of the conditions and behaviour that contribute to incidents and injuries. Suitably reward, appreciate person for good work done to promote environment, health, safety and welfare. Reduction of waste and conservation of resources. Recording and communicating HSCE performances throughout the organisation. Continual improvement HSE performance. Each employee has a duty to report workplace conditions or practices that pose a safety hazard or threaten the environment and to take reasonable actions and alleviate such risks. Require all personnel to adhere to these standards and provide management commitment of the means and resources to lead, support, monitor and maintain accountability for implementation of the policy. Type of hazard associated in the company. Overhead materials movement. Noise. Hot works. Electrical tools. Manual handling. Heat stress, forklift operation, chemicals, contact with hot metals, slip trip, working at height, fire. Type of hazard associated in the workshop, overhead materials movement, don't stand or work under the suspected load. Make sure all the lifting tools are in good condition. Watchful when you're in shop. Make sure all lifting tools are colour coded. Don't overload the lifting equipment. Type of hazard associated in the workshop. Noise. Health effect. Hearing problems. Poor cognitive function cardiovascular issues, sleep disturbances, trouble communicating, mental health problems. You're in a noisy environment. Always use earplugs and muff to protect you from above effect. Type of hazard associated in the workshop. Hot work. Health effect, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, heat cramps, fainting. Use appropriate PPE, maintain sounding good housekeeping, cover the combustible material by fire blanket. Type of hazard associated in the workshop. Electrical tools. Use appropriate PPE. Perform pre-use check. Report if any damage. Common injuries accidents. A finger or clothing can easily be caught. Eye injuries occur when airborne particles fly into the eye. This can be avoided with proper safety glasses. Sparks from metal grinding can start fires on clothing or on surfaces with flammable material. Type of hazard associated in the workshop. Manual handling. Immediate or short-term hazards. Accidental injuries caused by sharp edges, rough surfaces, falling of objects, slip and fell in same level. Fatigue, sprains and fractures. Long-term hazards. Chronic back pain caused by repetitive strains, cramps, tear of tendons, connecting back muscles to spine.
type of hazard associated in the workshop. Heat stress can be deadly. Symptoms include weakness, fatigue and dizziness. Protect yourself. Drink water. Wear light, loose clothing. Schedule more frequent breaks. Use sunscreen and keep your head covered outdoors. Schedule work for a cooled part of the day. Report heat stress concerns to your supervisor. Type of hazard associated in the workshop. Forklift operation. Ensure that the loads carried are within the rated load limit. Do not carry the loads above the rated load limit. Ensure loads are properly secured and is installed on the forks prior to move. Travelling on the fork is strictly prohibited. When travelling, be aware and avoid uneven surfaces. Working or walking under an elevated forklift load is prohibited. Type of hazard associated in the workshop. Chemical. Use PPE as per MSDS, Material Safety Data Sheet. Storage, handling and disposal as per guideline from the MSDS. Routes of entry, ingestion, absorption, inhalation. Health effect, chronic, acute. Type of hazard associated in the workshop. Fall protection, fall arrest system. There are four components of a fall arrest system. A. Anchor point, anchorage connector. B. Body wear. C. Connecting devices. D. Descending devices. Use fall prevention, fall protection when working at height. Fall prevention. Only use green tag scaffolding. Warning signs and barriers for incomplete scaffolds must be displayed. Protection. Wear full body harness when working at height. HSE culture. Eye protection must be worn. Sight rules. AOTC House Rules In case of emergency, use a fire exit. Use a fire alarm call point. Fire extinguisher types, water, dry powder, foam, carbon dioxide. Personal hygiene. Cross contamination can occur in the following ways. 1. Inhalation. 2. Injection. 3. Absorption. 4. Ingestion. 1. Wash your hands thoroughly at the end shift and break times. 2. If you get any cut, ensure that it's covered. 3. Use face mask when it's required. 4. Eat in a designated area. Everyone is responsible for HSCE towards the work carried out and shall strive for continual improvement.